Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new news regarding Fairy Tale alongside with this manga, its OVA and potential updates on Season 3 as we could be getting closer and closer to hearing more about that news and why we're going to be talking exactly right now. Now the latest volume of Fairy Tale finally got announced and the cover art for it alongside with the brand new OVA that's going to be coming out for this. this is OVA 8 of the series. And if you look at the pictures, I'm going to show you what the actual normal like, cover of the 58 looks like. You can see it's in the entirety of the Spriggan 12 alongside with Xerath. And I actually kind of like this color. It's shown every single one of them. And I actually kind of like we got a full color design and details of what. Them. I was actually kind of surprised that like, that's Irene's kind of like color palette like, out of everything. Like she actually has a white trim. Like, every time I've seen the details of that, it is definitely kind of been like this red or this orange trim to it. Like Brad Man looks like he's built like a brick shit out. And August is like red skin. Like every like depiction we've ever seen of him has been like the black kind of transformation. And especially with the one behind them all, like Lakale, that brings a lot more now. Seeing his design and seeing that uh, blonde hair on him, and kind of gives us a little bit of confirmations. But I won't say for the people that, in case haven't seen it, there's also a special edition of this, including the Natsu versus Mei OVA. And on this one, we can clearly see that we, uh, Natsu and Mei are in like kind of like, dresses and suits and kind of like dancing around and enjoying themselves. And with this one, we can see the Natsu versus Mei this OVA screenshots. We're seeing some stuff from like Fairy Tail Zero. Kind of, we're seeing like Warren and Yuri in there. We're seeing a couple of edgy from the girls there it's going to be combining stuff it's also as well talking about the christmas special in there where it's adding saying that like on december that the new uh, christmas over is going to come which is the last one that has to be adapted which this one this volume is coming out on november 17th whilst with the next one it's coming out on december the 16th so we only had to wait for a month from each partner to get these ovas so we can finally it's over we're finally done with these ovas so after that after these two months january february that's the time where we can probably talk about the new news because this animation team will be finally done with the series they won't be probably under contract anymore and then maybe Hiramashima might be able to talk about it because there has been reasons why he hasn't been able to talk about season three or this movie. They haven't been able to talk about anything for a while. And normally that's because like they're in MDAs. Like if people ever heard about them, like that's kind of like a contract you have like with like certain gaming companies or animes or movies where it's like, we can send you this stuff and send you information, but as long as you don't break the contract, then you're not allowed to, then you know, you'll be fine. It's the same thing that happened with like the Nintendo's like Switch or the NX as we've been known. You're not allowed to break the contract and send information out to people that's against the contract. If you do that, then you know, you're pretty much fired and you know, all accounts are labeled. So I think that's what kind of what Hero Machima is under. He's not allowed to talk about seasons like free at all, but I think that's like, it gets more time to build up the material for the chapter. So I'm looking forward to that at most. And with as well, adding into that, right down the bottom, you can see that they're talking about like Hero Mashima's Twitter and the book that he's going to be like making that is a collection and like all the collaboration of all the single Twitter pictures that he's been putting out on his like, actual Twitter site. I'll link that down below as well that you can go and see that. Some real good news. I'm looking forward to this in Fairy Zone. We're going to get an OVA that's going to be coming out in like, pretty much in like two weeks. And then after that, next month, we're going to be having that near coming up to Christmas time. So we are going to have some fairy tale anime material. I kind of hope that these two are better than the first one. Mainly the fact that the first one was had dog shit animation it looked absolutely terrible like this art was really old and that's the reason why the delays happened that's why these OVAs got delayed it's the fact that they couldn't keep up with the material and I think generally that they wanted to clean it up because it was pretty much appalling and I think like no one really wants to buy a very appalling animated like OVA if they're actually looking forward to it when it's like I would rather stick to the manga but the fact is that we've got like volume 58 we've got the actual special cover and we've also as well adding into the fact we've got the brand new cover I really like the new cover like with the springs I think that's a really nice like design for all of them while I've seen Zareth and all his warriors have signed it. I actually kind of like that design a lot seeing them all on there. I think it was about time we finally saw a bit of them since we only saw a few of them like shown off but I really do like this and like finally getting to see like what all the characters look like in a color form and there is a more to like you know a little bit more fairy tale and it kind of like honestly it's a bit weird to say that even with some of the colors it kind of proves some of the theories that we had with some of the characters and with a little bit of their design but let me know what you guys think in the conversation down below what exactly do you think about volume 58 what do you think about the special edition do you think now 
out finally that we uh, can pretty much get these OVAs done with that we can actually uh, like here in March and the team can finally talk about CS3 the movie I honestly believe that's the reason why, uh, that we're gonna happen but I generally don't think we're gonna add, yeah, at this point we're not gonna hear anything until maybe January maybe like February time like that it honestly depends what time and then add to the fact that you know we, we still don't know if it is season 3 or the anime new anime project in general thank you very much for watching as always you love fairy tales always then you know hit that like you know hit that subscribe Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys though in the next fairy tale video.